Yeah, I, mean, I think college football. You know, even almost more so than Big Ten. This is college football at its finest. I think. I mean, it's um, classic. Uh, two classic football teams. Um, big stage on Saturday night. It's going to be an awesome atmosphere. Um, I, I couldn't be more excited. Yeah, it was a great play. He's an instinctual player. He understands the game. Some guys have a real knack for it. Um, you can see that when he played high school um, over here at Burke. Um, and, and he does. He, some guys, you know, it takes reps. It takes feel to, to get that thing sorted out. He's, he's pretty natural with it. Um, he missed a screen later on in the game. I'll let him know that, too. Uh, but, no, that was a great play. It was a, uh, Northwestern had, had that one set up pretty well, and he you know, made a guy miss and made a tackle in, open, in the open field. So what causes you to miss a, miss a play? Uh, no, the, the actual one that he had, it was, uh, you know, a little bit of a tough situation. We were showing a disguise, so he got caught up in the line a little bit. So that he was in a little bit of a tough spot for the play call we had. But, um, you know, at the same time, that's why we spend so much time watching ourselves because um, when, you, when that happens in a game, um, I guarantee you with a guy like him it won't happen again. Um, that's how I always learned was when uh, you made a mistake or you didn't do something the way that, um, necessarily was the you know correct way, especially when you hadn't seen it before. Um, so that, that'll be one I'm, I'm positive he'll put in the bank, and you know that won't be a repeat offender. It seems like this year I've heard more guys talk about understanding, like JoJo yesterday called it, assets and liabilities, understanding what your job is, and then also how you can get beat more this year than maybe in past years. Is that is that sort of the graduate level of, of understanding this? Yeah, and that comes in all phases, you know, not only players but coaches too. The longer you're in the system, the longer you're around it, the longer you're with each other, the same people, um, you learn your problems. And, and I've, I was told this once, and I believe it, that good defense is about understanding your own issues. Everybody runs, you know, everything looks good on paper. It's what are the problems. And, uh, you know, our guys that have played a lot of football now, they're starting to understand the issues of the defense too, which is, which is a big step. Uh, I mean, uh, they got a high volume of formations, personnel groupings. Um, they do a really good job with, I, I call them window dressings. Um, they got a lot of shifts, a lot of motions, a lot of formations that you got to be able to adjust your own defense to. Um, then they do a good job of really running their staple concepts, but they have, um, you know, a bunch of different looks that they try to get you in to do that. Yeah, because I do think it's important that, that guys rotate in. I mean, a, a Big Ten season's a grind. Um, if you're relying on two guys to play the whole time, um, I think those guys can really get worn down. Um, so even when guys aren't necessarily tired in the game, you know, I'm making sure to get you know Chris rotated in there and you know snods if need be, um, because um, I, I think the accumulation of a year is it's important to have those reps. Um, you know, you, you're saving your body a little bit by taking off 15 to 20 reps a game. There's always a little bit of luck involved, but I think um, you know the, the guys have really done a good job of preparing. And, and not only do you prepare mentally, but you got to prepare your body physically. You got to get rest. You got to get treatment. You got to get in the ice tubs after practice. You got to stretch before practice, um, and you got to do it every single day. Um, you can't do it sometimes, or, or you can't do it when you don't feel good. You got to do it when you feel good too. So um, I'd attribute more than anything to uh, you know the habits of forming. Has that changed at all this year? In terms of how guys are maintaining themselves? Um. I think it's experience, you know, I mean, um, you know, I got, a, I got a lot of experience having to do it myself so I can, I, I can provide some, uh, you know, input. Um, but at the same time, it's about those guys owning their own routine. Um, you know, I can't follow them around all day. They got to be able to want to do it and they got to do it every single day. So they, they've done a really good job of holding themselves accountable to kind of follow in a routine. You know, I think that the athlete's always been there. Um, the natural ability to tackle's always been there. I think, kind of like what we were talking about, just overall as a team, I think he just understands the ins and out of the position a lot more. He understands, you know, what are the issues, what are the hard plays, 
what are my chances to go make some splash plays. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing. He's just really grasped, you know, the ins and outs uh, of the defense, the, the detail that, you know, we wanted to play with now. Seems like he's the guy who's got his hands on some balls, hasn't quite made Hadn't caught him, has he? <laughs> yeah, he hasn't caught any balls. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, you know, I, I said, hey, PBUs are great. I, I'd rather have interceptions. Um, I hope he was saving them up for the rest of the year. But, um, but those are important, you know, miss ops, tips, overthrows. Um, you got to make sure you come down with those. So I know he wasn't thrilled with himself. And, um, you know, you got to make sure you convert those because you don't get a lot of those ops. You know, when a ball gets tipped up, you know, it's got to be one that you got to take advantage of. Just that sort of second level, do you, do you feel like you're in a pretty good spot right now with, with, with the production that you're getting from, from the linebacker group of the Bulls? Yeah, it's been good production. You know, I think um, you know Garrett's been really solid on the edge, not only rushing the quarterback, but you know just playing with technique, setting the edge, being physical in the run game too. Um, he, he's turned himself into a really complete player. And then, and then Joe, I think, has, has progressed from from the year before. It's same thing. I mean, he's he's kind of found a home at that you know walked out nickel position. Um, and, and same deal. He, he knows the different issues that pop up. Um, and he's always been pretty natural when it comes to making plays in space. So he's doing a good job. I know, I know this is not probably what's on his mind or certainly your mind at this point, but you played linebacker in the NFL for a long time. Is he sort of the way the game is played now at the professional level? That, that's sort of what a lot of second level players look like, isn't it? A guy that, can, that has to do a lot of. Well, yeah, definitely as far as the athleticism. I mean, that, that really is. I mean, um, it, it's, it's way more of a space game than it is a box game. And I think everybody uh, would probably prefer to, you know, teach from the outside in. You know, it, it's harder to teach athleticism. It's harder to teach being comfortable in space than it is, you know, necessarily keying in a box. I think you can teach that and teach guys how to get off blocks. It's hard to get guys comfortable playing in space. So I think that probably is a little bit of a trend in, in football in general. Um, I mean, they've always done a, a lot of different concepts. Um, you know, I think our quarterback's playing really, really well right now. Um, you know, and it's nice to see some of the, the other skill guys really start getting involved. I mean, Xavier had a good game. Omar had a good game. Um, Yant was out there running around. Um, so it was cool to see the, the, the skill guys get involved. Uh, the tight ends are always really steady. So, um, you know, you hope that it's starting to peak at the right time. sort of getting to the point now in terms of high school seasons that are going on where you've been able to evaluate whether it's seniors or juniors or whatever, especially around here? Yeah, yeah, you've been able to watch it as, as much as you can. It's, you know, recruiting during the season, it's a grind and you're a little bit limited, uh, especially compared to the off season. but you try to keep up um, as much as you can. You kind of got to watch a little bit more highlight videos than, you, you know, off season you can spend more time going through true game film, seeing them on a snap to snap basis. Just because of the time crunch, you got to be a little bit more um, highlight oriented, but you try to watch as much as you can. And just so you don't get overwhelmed with all of a sudden, you know, you got to watch uh, six hours of film in a, yeah, a day at the end of the week. So you try to keep up as much as you can. Cool. Thanks guys. Like Nick Bauer is pretty pumped up to make the tunnel walk video. Oh, yeah. I, and I, I don't know what I was doing. I didn't hear it when he came out, but he made sure to send me it afterwards. So. <laughs> hey, Barry, do you mind uh, talking about the option for a couple minutes? Sure. Yeah.